Okay, Hurricane Ian, let's talk about it. You may be wondering what the housing market is like now, or maybe more hesitant to move because of the recent events. Well, I am here to share what you need to know about life now, living in Florida after Hurricane Ian, and how this has affected the housing market. My name is Rosie Picciotti and I am a realtor in Orlando, Florida. As you probably already know, Hurricane Ian made landfall as a category four, almost a category five on the west coast of Florida, destroying homes, businesses, and the area as a whole. This is very devastating and especially because we can't control the path of a hurricane. It can change directions anytime in a short period of time and we have to be ready for anything that can occur. Here in Orlando, usually we don't get hit often like the coast and usually the strength of the hurricane changes to a category one because it loses its strength once it's away from the ocean. If there is one thing I have noticed that was different than the rest of the hurricanes I have experienced living in Orlando over 25 years. It was the rain. I have never seen so much rain like this time, creating floods and lakes overflowing. However, many neighborhoods were not affected and never lost power. Of course, there were others who did lose power or had other issues occur. With those things being said, this is something you should remember. There is no perfect place when it comes to natural disasters because it happens everywhere. So if Hurricane Ian made you reconsider moving, I want to encourage you and say that there are pros and cons to every place. For example, if you go to different places in the country, there are earthquakes, fires, snowstorms, tornadoes, you name it. So it really is about your why. If your why is important to you, maybe it's better jobs. Maybe it's better weather. Maybe it's about starting fresh. No natural disaster will outweigh that. Now, let's address the market. Due to Hurricane Ian, home sales were down 40%. The good news is that the rates increasing has slowed down the market and we have more inventory now than we did a year ago. It gives buyers a lot more options and opportunities to negotiate. The question is, what is your plan? If having a house is good for you, then it is. And if you must sell it because that is the plan, then do it. You have to know what is your plan and work your plan. Well thought out plans tend to work. And all this to say, if you have been waiting to buy a house, then this is the time to do it. You can start this process by contacting me and I am more than happy to help you in finding your home in the Central Florida area. Or if you realize Florida maybe isn't for you, I can also sell your home. If you like this video, consider subscribing to my channel to see more real estate content. And don't forget to follow me on all my social media where I post multiple times a week about local events, updates, real estate education, and more. You can find all of that in the description below. Thank you for watching.